all right guys all right guys so see you again okay so now we saw move how we are move the object in the previous now we are going to uh, the next one will be after movement suppose we want to rotate the object rotation will also perform suppose someone want to rotate a cube is not so i mean this kind of thing but you can do that so how to rotate the object so you know the rotation happens along with the axis so suppose this object is uh, uh, you want to rotate the object along with the y axis so it will rotate like this see like this way it will rotation happens along with that so let's see how you rotate that to rotate the object just simply click this option rotate and once you click on that you will see a uh, lines that's uh, similarly in case of movement but here it is curved so it means that one want to move the object so suppose you want to move rotate rotate the object along with the y axis just select this y line and rotate it yo oh, you see rotation is happening along with the y axis suppose i want to rotate with the x uh, just select the red and move it similarly for the y you see y yeah you see this one is rotating along with the y direction y axis my bad now is there any shortcut for that yes shortcut is available to rotate simply press r and then select the axis i selected x axis see the temperature line yeah, here i go i'm rotating it right so to clearly see i'm just going to erase it and uh, going to pick another object so to pick an, another object you know go add here or just add a shortcut shift a it will pop the here so i'm just going to use some torus right torus is seems like a circular object but in a 3d direction 3d view so suppose i want to rotate this object along with the x axis and i, I want to uh, place it exactly 90 degree how gonna do that because it is very difficult for me to uh, just uh, select the rotation and then drag it because that will not be correct way even there will be chances that there may be some problem as you can see this seems like that i rotated it with uh, 90 degree but if you go to this here you see 88 degree right so this this is the problem with this manual stuff right so what I did, I just selected this object and this rotation and select mark it as a 90. If I mark it 90, see it plays exactly at the 90 perpendicular to the X axis. Right. So this is how and after that you want to rotate it like suppose uh, 45 degree with, uh, with a Y axis. See nothing is happening, but why? The reason is that this is going to rotate with this axis, but rotation since this is a circular object, it will means nothing for me. Right? Similarly, I want to rotate along with the Z axis. So see, it will impact. Yo, bingo! Here is you see, this has rotated because X axis is passing through this. How you can see that? Just press uh, R and Z. See, bingo! See the value is changing here. So this is the way you can rotate the object. I mean, this seems very confusing because right now this seems okay, but when you go with some complex object, you may face some problem there. I mean, to understand. So make sure you do practice as much as you can with uh, this rotation and stuff, right? So see you in the next. Uh, next, we are going to see some scaling object. So thank you. See you in the next. Bye-bye.